How do you append queries in Power BI? In this video, I'll walk through how to combine multiple tables into one table using append, and I'll discuss points to look out for to ensure the tables combine as expected. Hi, I'm Pauline, and I provide practical data skills for real-world analysis. In our scenario, we have three tables containing sales data. Each area completes and sends its sales area data to head office. Head office then combines the data together for use in a management report in Power BI. In our simplistic example, the spreadsheet contains the following column names, being area ID, product, stock and sold. Each table has four columns and to keep it simple, they each have five rows of data. In this scenario, append is helpful as we're looking to combine data which has the same type of information. Why append and not some of the other ways available to combine data? Well, here we are looking to add more rows to the table. We are not looking to add additional information to an existing row. I discuss more about when to use append in my video, Merge versus Append, a link to which can be found in the description below. Before we start to append, we must first carry out a few checks. We check that each table has the same number of columns. This is really important. If the number of columns differ, then you should consider whether append is your best way forward, or alternatively, you may need to take additional steps to either increase or decrease the number of columns prior to using append. We also check that the column names match exactly in each table. Check that the columns are all in the same order. And check that the columns are all of the same type. If we do these checks, then append is a simple operation to combine the data. If we do not carry out these checks, then this can lead to unexpected consequences when we do carry out the append, and I'll discuss more about that shortly. All our three tables match now, so it all looks good. So up in the ribbon in append queries, I've got the option to either append queries, which means I'm adding the rows of the other queries onto an existing query, or in our case, what I would like to do is create a new query, thereby leaving all the existing queries untouched. So therefore, I click Append Queries as New. And as I've got three tables, I'm going to select three or more tables. And for tables to append, all I need to do is select my other tables. So Area 2 goes across and Area 3 also goes across. I click OK. As you can see, I've now got a new query which contains all the rows from the other three queries and it's ready now for use in our Power BI report. However, our work does not end there. We should sense check our work. As a sense check with append, you should always have the same number of columns after the append as you had before. Remember, for append, we're looking to increase the number of rows, not the number of columns. Therefore, if I start with four columns before the append, I should have four columns after the append. And also as a sense check, we know that each of our three queries contained five rows prior to the append. And after the append, we can see we have 15 rows. So all looks good. If you end up with more columns than you started with, then it's an indicator that your column names or column order or column type are not all matching. For example, here I've managed to end up with five columns rather than four columns. This is because here we have area ID in one of the tables, but area ID in the other tables. I can see that area two is the problem table. So if I go back to area two and change the name to area ID, also check that the type is correct and we know that that should be a whole number. 
So if I carry out these small changes, then go back to my append, as you can see, we're now back to having our four columns with the data correctly fitting within each column. As mentioned earlier, append is not the only way to combine tables. In some scenarios, merge may be more appropriate. And I discussed the difference between merge and append in my video, which is linked to in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more data hints and tips. Thanks for watching.